Microfridge Refrigerator Model 25MF4E7D1 Repairs Microfridge 20-inch freestanding compact refrigerator with 2.5 cubic feet capacity, two wire shelves, right hinge with reversible doors, automatic defrost energy star certified, safe plug, adjust. Repairs Microfridge manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair, however. If you're in need of microfridge appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. Puddling water. Start by identifying the source of your refrigerator leak. The most common troublemaker, and the first place to check, would be the water supply to the refrigerator's ice maker and or water dispenser. Look for the water supply shut-off valve, either in the basement or under the sink closest to the refrigerator. Once the water has been shut off, replace any cracked, worn, or brittle tubing according to the instructions that come with the part. Alternatively, you may need to replace the water inlet valve, which is a solenoid-operated device that connects your household water supply line to your refrigerator. Excessive Noise most modern frost-free refrigerators operate with a fan-cooled condenser coil, which is located near the compressor, at the bottom rear of the fridge. To investigate whether or not that fan is functioning properly, first disconnect all power to the fridge and remove the rear access panel. Look for any obstructions or debris that could be preventing the fan from moving freely. If any fan blades are damaged, or if the motor shows visible wear, these components will need to be replaced. Also, check the rubber mounting grommets for signs of wear and replace if necessary. Frequent cycling. Frequent cycling often indicates dirty condenser coils and dirty fan blades. Especially if you share a house with animals, dust, debris, and fur can accumulate along the condenser fan blades and on the coils. In extreme cases, this condition will trip an overload relay and prevent the fridge from turning on at all. But the fix is an easy one. Turn off the power to the unit and remove the rear access panel. Carefully vacuum the coils, fan blades, and motor with the brush attachment of your vacuum. To help prevent future dust buildup, cut a section of lightweight filter material or, in a pinch, Stretch a piece of old pantyhose and fit it inside the vent panel beneath the door to trap debris. Excess moisture inside the fridge. Many fridges have a drain tube that routes excess moisture to a drain pan underneath the fridge. There, the evaporator fan then blows over it to disperse the moisture. If the drain tube becomes blocked by food spills or other debris, that moisture could end up inside your fridge rather than where it's supposed to go. Turn off the power to the refrigerator and look for the drain plug, which should be located near the back or bottom of the main fridge compartment. Next, use a turkey baster to force a 50-50 solution of bleach and warm water or, if you prefer, white vinegar and warm water into the drain tube. Repeat this process several times and then remove and clean the drain pan. Door does not close or seal. In order for your refrigerator to do its job and keep food from spoiling, the doors need to be closed. Every time you open the fridge door, the interior temperature rises, forcing the motor to work overtime to reduce the temperature to optimal levels. The same is true of the door seals. The fridge works properly only when the door seals are tight and in full contact with the body of the fridge. Liquid spills, food particles, debris, or dust can build up in the creases of the seals and prevent your fridge doors from closing properly. You should regularly wipe down the seals with a clean, damp cloth to make sure they can do their job. Light isn't working or constantly stays on. When a fridge light doesn't work, the most common reason is a power outage or a burned out bulb. Check for a general power outage or a tripped circuit breaker first, then check that your fridge is plugged in. If you suspect a bad bulb, unplug the fridge and remove the bulb. Gently shake it. If you hear a rattling noise, the filament is damaged and you need a new bulb. 
Most fridges have either a 25 or 40 watt bulb, available at your local hardware store or home center. Check the socket when you remove the bulb. Wipe dirty contacts with a clean, damp cloth, and make sure the contacts are clean and dry before replacing the bulb. 